Hello. We are Asad Al Alawi. And my name is Kim. We are introducing our project, the Exercise Bike Project. Um, the members, the members of the members of this Exercise Bike Project team are Asad Al Alawi and Jayon Kim. Both of us are senior electrical engineering students. The advisors who are helping us with this project are Dr. Ryan Kim, who is a professor at the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, and Dr. Kimberly Cox York, who is a professor at the Food Science and Human Nutrition Department. Dr. Kimberly Cox York is also considered as our customer of this project. The Exercise Bike Project was presented in the late May 2019. I'm from Colorado State University's Food and Science um, and Human Nutrition Department with collaboration and support from the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. The overall goal of this project is to introduce STEM to underreserved communities all over Colorado with a mobile space called BioBus. The BioBus will be traveling to rural counties and schools in the inner city of Denver. This project as a whole is designed to be to be an outreach project for kids in grades K-12, teaching them a simple energy system with energy conversion. Our project will be implemented alongside um, other projects from different disciplines. This, pro this project focuses on the part of the process where energy gets burned with exercise and used for work, and then be brought back into producing energy again. We are focusing mainly on the electrical and computer engineering aspects of this process. Um, so for in this project, sorry about that. In this project, our goal is the introducing energy with um, our bike. We have generator attached in the generated electricity from the generator stored in the battery. And then we can use the battery to power the grow lights. The energy generation can be learned from the generator. Uh, the energy conversion can also be taught with uh, various energy forms in um, the project here. Uh, for example, rider has a chemical energy first. Once rider starts pedaling the bike, the, we can have mechanical energy. The mechanical energy is converted to the electrical energy by uh, attached generator. The generated electricity will be stored into the battery as a chemical energy again. Finally, the grill light uses the uh, stored energy and chemical energy converted to the heat and light energy in, uh, in the grill lights. Uh, we also want to introduce the energy cycle here. In the end of the conversion, we can grow plant with the grill lights and riders can consume the plants. And we can say that uh, riders can have the energy from the uh, plants uh, that's grown to pedal the bike. So this cycle will be repeated over and over again. For the circuit design, we have comp uh, we have components connected in the schematic design here, and this connection is completed. Uh, we have voltage controller to have the consistent voltage of 12 volts, because the generator we are using is 90 volts, 10 amp, um, so 900 watt generator. Therefore, we need to reduce it to uh, using our circuit. At the top of the voltage controller, there's a kickback diode connected uh, to prevent any reverse current from the battery. The battery is connected to voltage controller in parallel to store uh, the generated, electric generated electricity. And finally, the grow light is connected to be powered uh, by the battery, as you can see in the figure here, the L3 LED. Uh, we put also put the INA260, which is the power current sensor to measure the power and current used by a grow light. Then we have the simple circuit build to show um, the audiences that riders can really generate the electricity uh, by pedaling the bike with the generator attached and light bulb, um, the 1000 watt on case of light. Um, this is the picture that we took that um, this connection between the, uh, the generator and the uh, 1000 watt bulb uh, we have. So it's like when we pedal the bike, uh, we could uh, observe, observe that uh, light is powered uh, by the generator here. Um, so for the next slides here, we are going to talk about the work that we have done so far. Since introducing ECE, 
uh, are major. And the energy to the uh, audiences, the, educa uh, the working educational document is necessary to help them to understand the project. We decided on uh, dividing in three parts, uh, pre-bus, in-bus, and the post-bus. In the in-bus document, we introduce the basic knowledge to help them to understand, so uh, what is the electricity, the flow of uh, the electron, how is, ele how is it generated uh, with the, um, the generator, and also uh, various, like, various like, um, uh, ways to, um, to generate electricity as well uh, is, are also um, introduced in this document. And, also, there is the activity that um, the audiences can actually enjoy to uh, understand this project. So this is a hand crank generator. Um, so the audience can actually learn the energy generation and energy conversion from um, this activity with this hand crank generator and LED attached on. Um, in the in-bus, um, we focus on explaining our project details. Like we recorded the presentation, uh, 10 minutes long presentational video um, for this part. Um, from this video, we described the project goal, how bike project, our project works with components uh, connected in the circuit, uh, circuit and the, what we um, the audiences can learn from this project, like uh, energy generation, conversion, cycle described um, in this project. In the final part, uh, post bus, we described the grid system because in the grid system, um, the audience can learn about the energy generation from the power plant and the energy generation, com uh, energy conversion uh, when generated electricity transmitted to the customers. Um, we actually uh, want the audience to learn the um, the higher level of the. Uh, concept of the energy generation conversion uh, with the uh, the grid system. Um, so um, the audience can learn more about the, the electrical and computer engineering sides, like especially for the energy generation. So in the energy, and they can also learn that the energy is never created from nothing, but um, the converted to be used. So for the next three slides, we are going to discuss reported uh, issue from the previous group, which is the, our top, which was our top priorities. The first priority is the actual circuit design. Since the, the um this previous group bought most of the components for the project and circuit, but not tested. So this was our top priority. The second thing was the voltage controller. Um, and the final report, uh, from the previous group, um, they mentioned about the um, the functionality issue of the of the voltage controller. Uh, the voltage controller was not actually functional. Uh, the, um, they purchased the um, excuse me the, the voltage controller that they purchased was not functional, and it was um, tough to pedal when the generator is connected to a uh, voltage controller because it got heavier when pedaling. This was our second priority. The, the final issue reported from the previous group was the functionality issue of the current sensor. Um, the current sensor, uh, it's called INA260, was not functional when connected to the circuit. This current sensor should be connected to the Raspberry Pi to measure the power and the current uh, used uh, by the grow lights. Um, this this INA260 uh, should be connected between the um, the battery and the grow light to measure like how much power the grow light used and the current they used, but unfortunately the um, the current sensor was not actually working um, good in um, in the circuit they mentioned. Um, now, when it comes to what have been accomplished so far this semester, we obviously first had to start to deal to start dealing with. Um, the problems that has been that had been reported by the last bike team, such as testing the individual components of the circuit and testing the whole circuit as a system. We started by testing the generator. We that we have we are using a DC permanent magnet motor that's capable of producing 90 volts and 10 amps of current. And so it's able to produce around 900 watts of electric DC power. This motor is responsible for powering the whole bike system except these sensors. Uh, the produced power goes then for both powering the incandescent light bulb 
and charging a 12 volt battery. Connecting the incandescent light bulb directly to the motor um, helps to observe how the battling speed affects the produced power by observing the, the change in the brightness of the bulb. Higher brightness means higher power produced and vice versa. The connected 12 marine battery is there to store produced power and to power the grow lights. We are using three rows of grow lights here. Um, they're shown as LEDs in the schematic. And eventually we have the final circuit design as shown here. But since the power produced by the motor is not consistent and it's not very, um, it's very changing based on the battling speed of the bike, a charge controller is needed to provide consistent power to, to charge the battery safely. The charge controller that we are using here is called the Blue Solar 150-35 with a maximum efficiency exceeding 98%. And it can automatically, automatically adjust to 12 volts, 24 or even 48 volts based on the need of the battery. Connecting load is essential when testing the charge controller. And that's what, they, what the previous group missed when testing the charge controller. So we found it actually working but a load has to be connected. Using a charge controller helps to prevent um, the battery from being overcharged or supplied by over voltage. And so helps to supply, the, helps to maintain the um, consistent voltage and current, which then can help to maintain the battery's health and lifespan. Um, the table here shows how the output voltage of the charge controller is relatively constant even with some variation in the, in the rotational speed of the motor. We have tested the charge controller using a multimeter as shown in the, in the schematic figure here. We also decided to use a current power sensor to track the power that's being consumed by the grow lights. Um, the sensor here um, is, the sensor that's used here is called the INA268260 and it is working alongside the Raspberry Pi. The values measured by the sensor are then displayed on the five inch screen that's, at that, that's attached to the bike's body. After implementing the circuit and programming it using a Raspberry Pi, we were able to get some measurements on the screen as shown in the picture attached here. So what is next for this project? We first plan to add more sensors to the, to the bike to improve the interaction between the bike and the rider. For instance, we plan to add a heart rate sensor, weight sensor, health effect sensor, and maybe a burnt calories sensor. We plan to use a Raspberry Pi to program these sensors and, and display their data on the five inch screen that's attached to the bike. Um, and just to post the project's ability of producing electricity, a solar system might be incorporated alongside the motor. This can be done by the use of solar panels. However, since we are nearly at the end of the semester, this might be done by the next team. Also, adding a power inverter to the system might be a very good addition, which can be also done by the next team. Um, this addition would make um, the bike's system able to provide an AC power outlet similar to a wall port, which then can be used, for example, to charge smartphones or power other devices. So for the conclusion part, uh, we hope this project uh, inspires targeted students to learn more about the um, electrical engineering and the energy uh, uh, generations. And the, the job done throughout the semester are um, as like described here. So the hardware circuit connection was uh, completed. So it's perfectly working. And um, based on the schematic design from the previous group, uh, we built a circuit and um, this is also working uh, totally fine. And the issues reported from the previous school was also solved. So um, for example, the current sensor and the voltage controller uh, were not working um, in, the, uh, in the last semester, as they said. So we actually um, solved this, these issues. And um, we also um, for tested the older hold the circuit and current sensor uh, with the Raspberry Pi connected um, to a circuit. Uh, to measure the, all the data uh, uh, measured by the, um, the sensors. 
And the, the, the future work um, is also very clear. So the other sensors also, uh, must be also implemented in the circuit. For example, um, the current, uh, no, excuse me, the whole effect sensor, heart rate sensor, and the weight sensor uh, can be also, uh, must be also implemented to improve the, um, the in interaction between the bike and the riders. And also the solar power, power and the inverter um, can be also considered to improve our project as well, uh, as described um, by the, uh, the Assad. So uh, this is pretty much it. Uh, thank you for listening.